Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> rain, rain, go away. So, good morning, good morning, good morning. And it's rainy. You know, it's true. It rains so much, it's making it kind of not blue. It's gray. Good morning. So, what's going on? Oh, it's raining. That's what's going on. Nothing. Uh, need to eat breakfast. Need to take my medicine. I'm having a slow morning. I bugged a bunch of people this morning. No one responded. Oh, well. And so I've been working on... These are crazy. <laughs> I need new paints. I made some little ornaments. They're so bold. Ooh. So anyway, painting's not my thing. But oh, when I did this one all blue... And there's a snowflake right there, so I'm going to um, just paint it white. Simplistic. And I think I hear Brian getting up. going to push pause so he can get up and get his morning on. I'll be right back. Okay, so Brian's got his coffee going. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. I was going to tell you guys about the uh, night before last when I walked home from the shower house. Um, our water pump isn't... No, the water pump's work. It doesn't a problem because we're hooked up to water. The water heater, hot water heater, we're going to have to replace. And so I went to the shower at the campground, which is very nice and super awesome that it's an option for such an occasion when I need to replace the one that I have. So, um was walking home well i waited too long in the day i procrastinated and procrastinated going i'm not crazy about having to go use this every time i go there it's super clean and super nice i don't know what the mental hurdle is but anyway i get there take my shower and um i took a long hot shower i shouldn't do it all the time the water lasts for as long as you want so that's quite nice Ooh, i'm back down to just one extra chin very nice. Ooh, very nice. Okay, so I get down, taking a shower, and I'm walking home. Well, I took so long and lovely shower. It's dark now. Not just kind of dark. They don't have street lights in this park. I didn't take a phone. I didn't take a headlamp. I took no source of illumination. So, fudge. I hear, Ugh, in the bushes. <laughs> I just saw the mayor not oh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago on the trail. So instantly, all I hear is bear. All I heard is a bear. And I heard some rustling in the bushes. And so I started talking to him. I was like, yo, bear. Uh, hear my squeaky shoes? Squeak, squeak. I had on squeaky flip-flops. I said, those aren't tasty. Those are petroleum byproducts. And I was talking to him about all kinds of stuff. And then I heard this lady in her trailer going, hee, 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 hee. She thought it was so funny. I was scared of bears. I thought, well, thank God there's someone here it, running towards the giggle. If the bear jumps out of the bushes, she's got company coming. I'm going to tell you right fast. I was looking at everyone's trailer thinking, whose lights are on? I'm coming in. I ain't let your dogs out and I'm coming in. <laughs> so, probably going to get shot. So, I, but yeah, I was like, bear in my head. So I got back home. Everything was fine. Nothing happened. Safe. And that was my exciting shower story from two days ago. Not a lot's going on in my life. I don't have a lot to say. And I have not a lot to talk about. Would y'all like to talk about clay and see clay? Because honestly, I can't imagine that you do. But here is the fruits of thy labor. Do, do, do. Look at all the garden steaks. Ah! I'm not overly pleased with the choice that I just made. I'm going to be honest with you. I have regret for my choices, and I'll contemplate my actions more in the future. <sighs> Jennifer, well, they're drying, and they're slick. I don't have them on my silicone mat, which is grippy, which would have been cool. But anyway, click. It still looks fine. They're drying. They're getting hard. If not, I'll find out. I'm throwing them around. So that's the garden stakes. They're coming along quite nicely. I think they've improved dramatically. Got to paint them. We got not a hair or horrible curve. I think the quality, huh? It's a little archy on the letters. Here, this one looks squash. 
It's pretty straight. So, doing what I can. Do the best I can. Oh, some lady was so mean to me on Facebook. I told y'all about that yesterday. Some other lady, ha ha ha, saw all the nasty, mean, horrible things that this lady just like, out of nowhere, right? Coming at me. Right for the jugular, baby. And so, she, uh, I don't know what kind of bad day this lady's having. So, another lady decided that she was going to, I was like, well, I know myself's a little remedial, you know. Some lady sent me a message, and I was like, well, it's because I have an expensive product. I, I don't have good tools. Like, my paint brushes, they're so janky. I can't get any, like, I have these beautiful products I feel like I'm making. And then when I go to paint them, they turn to trash. I have one good paintbrush. This one. Which is not great for paint and surfaces. But I got these for like a dollar twenty-five at the Dollar Tree. So I mean, it's, you're working with what you got. So when as soon as I sell one of these things, I'm getting a new paintbrush. Um, I was gonna try the ones from Walmart, but I don't know. I don't think they're gonna give me the results that I want. I'm just gonna wait and get the a good one. Well, now I gotta sell one of these to get that. Because I'm not investing too much more into this. It needs to love itself. It needs to do that. And I guess that's where my day is. Rainy day. Throw in a ray. Throw the clay around. And uh, I don't want to make anything else until... Oh, yeah, my lightning bolt. I made a stamp. And um, I don't know if anybody on here is a deadhead or not. I'm going to gamble no. Maybe yes. But anyway, I am. What well, was... I don't even like that band anymore. It changed. They abandoned their fan base for dollar bills, which, you know, can't hate the player. So I am a deadhead. That is a Grateful Dead tattoo. And that right there is a 13-point lightning bolt. Lots of things it could mean. Depends on where you're standing next, who you're standing next to, I suppose, at the time. As to what that would mean and represent. So anyway, my son, when I, he was like 13, he's 30 two now gave me a necklace pendant of a 13 point lightning bolt we were at a um, akita rescue foundation festival in kansas anyway maybe we were in san francisco took the kid to several places it's not a kid anymore so i made a stamp and this took a lot of effort um i also had a bracelet and so i made a littler one Doo -doo -doo, little mini bolt and so I want to do them on the spoon rests. And I'm in a group called Shakedown Goods. And Shakedown Street is an area at a Grateful Dead event where all the vendors set up and sell their wares. And so I'm going to put a little 13 point bolt on the spoon rest. I think it'll look really cool. And red, white, and blue are the primary colors for that logo. So that'll be the focus of my color scheme, I think. Maybe something else, because people like colors. But honestly, it kind of bugs me when I see stuff and not red, white, and blue in the Grateful Dead merchandise. I don't know why. I guess the trademark colors are relevant in my brain. I don't know. I'll take a poll. So, do do do. I kind of like the little one, too, I'll be honest with you. And it fits sideways really well. I don't know. I'm going to fool around with it and see. And I will mush my stuff up and start over. So I'm not opposed to that. So I'll fool with it and see what happens. But for now, I've got to make the stamp. So I made the mold. I'm going to make the stamp. I am in the most humid environment, so it'll take forever to dry. So it'll be a minute. I guess that's it. I hear Brian huffing. I think I'm done. I'm going to wrap my video up. Peace and love. And enjoy your Monday.